A very good morning and very welcome to all of you. It is exactly a dream come true to have the ICANN Forum in Sri Lanka. I'm really honored to be part of this network and I feel it's a big responsibility to be part of uh, a network that uh, gathers, let's say, the best of the best of women from uh, across the region, MENA region, Asia and Africa who are uh, having the same issues, uh, how to fight radicalization and foster sustainable peace. I can form as a place where, I can, where we can come as organizations, local organizations, really listen to the real voice that's coming from the communities, not from international organizations, be able to share ideas, understanding what's happening around us, because it's all connected. From the beginning, when I started you know, looking at the extremism agenda, it was always, I was like, being against something is, is limiting. You, at some point, you hit a wall. What is it that we're for? And the framing that we have of rights, peace, and pluralism, um, is important. The real change, I think, comes when you have strong movements on the ground where women are able to really engage with their own populations, with their own governments to create change. The idea of really bringing grassroots level, especially in, in the MENA region, women coming with very difficult places, but that particular forum made the women to open and feel confident. So the uh, offer of free education leads people to madrasas and to places and that process actually radicalizes them. They come back and they have brainwashed a large community. One young girl, barely 16, told us her story of the journey between South Sudan and the refugee settlement camp in Uganda. On their way from South Sudan, they are raped as they come into Uganda. Generally, we suffer the same, uh, we have the same dilemmas, uh, we have the same aspirations as women. So instead of uh, reinventing the wheel, it's better to, 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 to borrow or to also use practices that have been proven successful. What we're doing is we're reinterpreting, uh, we're using ijtihad and uh, asking Islamic scholars to have a more gender just interpretation of the patriarchal uh, interpretations that exist today than to stick to the fact that the Quran is gender just, that Allah is gender just. So for that I have initiated a peace education program within my old school. Uh, mine is the only school in Pakistan which has a peace education as uh, a part of the mainstream curriculum. If more is invested in peace building initiatives, in conflict transformation and the CVE uh, stuff, things will definitely change. The perspective which is, is again very much what women do always in this kind of work and is so undervalued and so so critical which is to find the, hum the common humanity. I truly believe that a group like I can, very small, very committed women, we can get the message that there is not going to be a sustainable solution without including women in finding solutions to extremism. There is no other way.